Hello everyone, good morning. I hope you are having an amazing day. Today I am at Oase in Belgium and um, I have escaped two tanks yesterday, or Highline 400 and one Highline 125. So let's take a look at the tanks. Uh, Highline 400, this tank has 140 by 50 by 60 centimeters high. Uh, I did this tank yesterday. Um, this tank has uh, dragonstone and then a mix of plants. We can start by looking here in detail. We have some Pogostimon Elferi, um, Hydrocotyl uh, verticillata, Anubias, uh, Pangolino. Also, uh, we have here Micanthrum species Monte Carlo, some uh, Weeping Moss, Bobitis Zildlotti. We have Anubius Bacteri, uh, Anubius Nana Paxing, um, also more Monte Carlo. We have here Ranunculus Inondatos. Then uh, on the side, we have here some Liliopsis Nova Zelandae, uh, some Cryptocorins, a mix of Cryptocorins because they asked me a tank that could be easy to maintain and does not demand too much trimming. So there is no stem plants in this tank. Uh, if we can consider Yunkos Rev, and this can be a stem plant, but uh, however, the way it propagates is a little bit different. So we have a mix of cryptocorins. We have cryptocorine, cryptocorine uh, um, windy tea green, windy tea brown, cryptocorine willisi, cryptocorine flamingo, becchetti, uh, also, we have, uh, let's see if I can find, ah, okay, Cryptocorin, Costata, uh, more, let's see if I can find something else, Yunku Repens, and Eleocaris Acicularis. Uh, this tank <coughs> is equipped with uh, two LED lights that are controllable by uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Uh, you can see it here. They are RGB. You can control and set the, the temperature of the light and also the, the photo period that you want to use. Also, in this tank, you have there, as you can see, that is the intake of the filter. In this tank, we have a Biomaster 600, a thermal filter. So maybe on the bottom, you see there is two holes, one, takes you to that intake and then you have uh, here uh, overflow where get out the the outtake of the filter also I'm using here a circulation pump because this filter does 1250 liters per hour uh, and uh, the pump is uh, a Waze pump is uh, set to work only an half of the power i think it's 5000 liters per hour and it's working now just 2500 liters per hour in um, modulate strength so it's not moving the water and pump the water all the time at the same power uh, i still need to set the co2 so in this tank uh, i'm going to install the co2 because using the two led bars on the top I'm pretty sure that will be a big problem if we don't use any CO2 in this tank and the algae will appear. Um, more for this tank, uh, later on, uh, in two or three weeks, we start adding the um, cleaning fish. So we get some autosynclus affinis, depending all the, the, the plants look like and if you have some uh, green algae filamentosis we can start by adding some crossochello siamensis i would avoid to add some shrimps in this tank for now because uh, we have a big big slope as you can see to the background towards the background so if you start adding some caridina japonica what will happen is um, they start bringing and digging the soil and start bringing the soil to the front and um, I just trying to avoid, while the soil is not really compact, try to avoid anything that can mix and remix the bottom. So let's take a look now to the Island 125, uh, 125 liters. 
is a false cube of five, 50 centimeters. Also, I have used some uh, dragon stones and also some mixed plants. And uh, the configuration of the system is more or less like this. So just a smaller version. So let's take a look. This is the eye line, uh, 125. Uh, in this tank, I have used um, mixed plants also. Uh, try to make it more versatile and diversified as possible. However, I have used in this one uh, in vitro plants, Aquaflora Ecoscape in vitro plants, uh, and also just a small yuncos or some potted plants that you can see uh, the background. But just take a look on this tank. Let's start here from the front. We have some Heliocaris uh, minima. Then the Cryptocorins, we have also a mix. We have here some uh, Cryptocorin Flamingo, Cryptocorin Bacchetti. Uh, we have also some Cryptocorin Willie Z. This is Rubella. We have also the small Bobitis, Bobitis Epicroite Deformis. Uh, then uh, some Anubias Nanamini, Pangolino. Also some Vesicular Adubiana. You have here in this path. Uh, Igrophila uh, araguaia, then Yuncos repens, uh, Alternantera um, reniki mini. And then you see that also the intake of the filter on the back. So there is a overflow. Let's try to open the system so I can show it to you the same way. Here it is. This is the overflow from where it comes the outflow of the filter. And then you have there the intake. So the way how we place the artscape is trying to hide the intake the much I could. Uh, you see that there's a lot of depth coming from this part from the front, moving forward to uh, towards the back. So uh, the idea is just trying to disguise a little bit that tube and the plants or the idea is just to make a triangular shape also to hide a little bit the um, the, uh, the um, overflow the this um, the, the the box that is here try to hide it a little bit however it's black so the background is also black so it's a little bit disguised but since uh, it uh, it takes a little bit of the space that is inside of the tank i try to use it in a way that we can disguise it Keep the depth in a triangular shape, moving from the left to the right. Also, this tube, usually I don't like to use it. And uh, we add only the exits in the tube, normal tube. But then it start to revolve all the sand in the front. So I had to put the spray bar. At least it dispersed a little bit more the water flow. And uh, it does not move that much the, the sand in the front. Inside of the tank, the, 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 the cabinet, we have a BioMaster, or was BioMaster, I think this is 250 uh, thermal filter. And then uh, what else? There is also the remote control for the lights. We can set the lights. Let's see if I can make it work or not. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You see, it's changing. Let's try to make it like it was before because it was uh, good. But um, it was set before just to work in the sunrise, sunset, so and also to have a moonlight. I just pressed the button just to, say, to, to, to show that it's possible to change the light manually. The iLine 400 must be set uh, by Wi-Fi and, uh, and uh, dedicated app just to control the length uh, of the period, the color temperature, the intensity. Here you do it manually and you also can control the lights by pressing it uh, directly on the remote control. I believe you still probably have any app. I need to ask, uh, then I will place in the comments below or in the description if this can be controllable too, like the, the same system as the OASE iLine 400. And this is it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And uh, 
Just to don't forget, next weekend I will be at Aquarium in Porto for the first workshop of the year. And then um, moving to uh, Aquaflora, we'll have a needle in Belgium, an exhibition where I'm going to do two workshops too. So looking forward to see you guys over there. And um, if for some reason you could not make it, see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.